James Gunn and Peter Safran's plans for a brand new DC film and television universe include self-proclaimed superhero from the future Booster Gold. With rumors that Chris Pratt could take on the role, fans are already imagining what that might look like. The hierarchy of power in the DC universe has indeed changed, but in a very unexpected way. After taking 12 weeks or so to suss out the direction of a multi-billion dollar franchise with nearly a century of backstory, new DC Studios heads Gunn and Safran have unveiled the start of their shared on-screen universe. And they've confirmed that Booster Gold is coming. Yes, that Booster Gold. He is a fascinating guy. He's a loser from the future who uses future technology to come back to present day. With the announcement of a live-action small-screen adaptation of the just-shy-of-A-list hero comes a necessary tsunami of speculation. At the front of the queue is Chris Pratt, who Gunn turned into an international movie star with 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy. Gunn has already been respectfully honest about his intention to slap a dibs sticker on the backs of performers that he's previously worked with in the MCU, and that has some fans wondering, wouldn't it be crazy if Pratt played a futuristic, immature, wisecracking, perpetually down-on-his-luck comic book character? You know, again? Listen, I'd love to believe all of this. I really would. So would a lot of fans, but let's be clear, there's no announcement that Pratt has been cast as of the making of this video. Still, that hasn't stopped all kinds of online speculation. Reddit user Clutch Kweku has ensured that anyone eager to see what Chris Pratt might look like as Booster Gold didn't have long to wait with a post on the FanCast subreddit. In fact, the poster seems to have already known something the rest of us didn't, much like Booster Gold. On December 18, 2022, the fan artist posted their concept of what Pratt might look like as DC's fifth or sixth favorite time traveler. Utilizing the AI program Midjourney, this surreal marriage of the famed Raptor Wrangler and weirdly shiny Unreal superhero clothes somehow simultaneously calms and unsettles, as if the light on an anglerfish's head was made out of the star of The Tomorrow War. Reactions to the computer-assisted artwork ran the gamut. One commenter who said, I do hate that this works particularly well. Another called for a casting swap, saying, Chris Pratt should be Aquaman. Meanwhile, outside of this particular comment section, the idea of Pratt making the leap to the DC Universe has become quite the debate. Some fans love the idea, while others, of course, hate it. Booster Gold first appeared in DC Comics in 1986 in the first issue of his self-titled Solo series. The premise was perfect for the year after Back to the Future came out. What if a schlub from the future traveled back to the past, using the advanced technology of tomorrow to find celebrity and fortune today? The answer was a fan-favorite mostly hero with a smarmy streak, who shuffles back and forth between overconfidence and imposter syndrome. Since his introduction, he's appeared in two live-action incarnations, first played by Days of Our Lives actor Eric Martzolf in an episode of the final season of Smallville. Donald Faison later played him in what turned out to be the series finale of the Arrow vs. Legends of Tomorrow. For a better introduction than his live-action incarnations, check out the Justice League Unlimited episode, The Greatest Story Never Told, where Booster is voiced by Tom Everett Scott and his his robot sidekick Skeets is portrayed by Billy West, who was Fry on Futurama. They also serve who only stand and wait, John Milton. Oh yeah? I got one for you. This stinks. Booster Gold. While Chris Pratt playing Booster Gold is still fan speculation at this point, it's clear that if he is cast, Bradley Cooper will have to voice Skeets, right?